Hi, I'm Paul Stringflow, guest host of Pop-Up Tech Talks here at NetApp Insight Berlin 2017. Uh, today I'm joined by uh, my colleague from the NetApp A team, Adam Berg. Hi, Adam. Paul, thank you. It's been uh, a real pleasure so far at NetApp Insight 2017 Berlin. Well, it's good to have you here. So I've got a question. HCI, is it really a thing? HCI, absolutely a thing. The pace of the innovation and the acceleration around the market around hyper-converged technologies is just is exploding actually. So as a, as a technology partner, we see this in the marketplace. Our customers are coming to us. They want to hear about HCI. We're implementing HCI everywhere. And what's really, really interesting about HCI is we're actually onto what we're calling the second generation of HCI platforms. So the first generation HCI platforms really had this problem where if you wanted to scale your compute, you also had to scale your storage at the same time. But if you only wanted to, let's say, increase your storage footprint, you had its uh, hypervisor costs added to that system. Maybe you had to add extra compute that you didn't need. Whereas now we're into the second generation HCI platforms, uh, which is appealing to a much broader audience. So when I mean, what I mean by second generation HCI platforms is I'm able to independently now scale storage from my compute. So if I just needed a bit more flash, uh, I can add just a bit more flash to my HCI platform. If I need just a bit more compute or more hypervisor, I can add that independently of my storage footprint. So what, what's, what uh, the second gen HCI platforms are doing now um, is really appealing to a much broader audience. We're seeing a lot of customers that traditionally might have purchased a converged infrastructure taking a look at hyper-converged platforms now for, for refresh cycles. So um, the HCI platforms, it's, it's not going anywhere here to stay. So are we saying that a HCI platform is something more than just squeezing lots and lots of compute and storage into a little box? Is it giving us more simplicity, more agility? Yeah, yeah. so the value, the real value around this is the agility, it's the, it's, it's the scale. It's the non-disruptive scale, one small piece at a time. Whereas traditional buyers used to buy a three and five year footprint for what they needed maybe down the road. With HCI, that allows you to scale at much smaller increments, and it's appealing to customers who are used to cloud-like buying cycles, operational expenses rather than massive capital expenditures. So it's really redefining how we consume IT from a, a traditional sense. And HCI really fits into that cloud-first mentality, but we're on-premises now instead of having to go to the cloud to get that scalable model that um, we're really seeing appeal to uh, infrastructure buyers. Okay, so big question. We're here at Insight in Berlin. Are you a curry-versed or a brat-versed man? Ugh, brat, brat-versed. So I'm from Wisconsin. We is like the home of brat-versed in the United States. So I'm a huge fan. So it's brat all the way for you. All the way, 100%. Adam, thanks for being part of Pop Up Tech Talks. Thank you very much. Hi, I hope you enjoyed Pop Up Tech Talks. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.